highly stylized political commentary. The Italian classic film Pasqualino Sette Bellezze made director Lina Wertmüller the first ever woman to be nominated for a Best Director Oscar back in 1977. Now, at 91 years old, the icon of the film industry is being awarded an honorary Oscar by the Academy, and she invited Euronews into her home. You receive a, a number of awards throughout your career. Does one like this still feel special? Certo, sì. Questo è un premio particolare che mi fa molto piacere e onore. The film Pasqualino Sette Bellezze deals with the process Italy was going through as the country where fascism began, but where people also suffered under the Nazis. Your films intersect between political and social commentary and sort of mass popular appeal. Do you feel that in this day and age, here in Italy, are you concerned about the state of Italy? No, non particolarmente. Non, non, non mi sento preoccupato di questo, no. No, ma è sempre, è sempre lo stesso in qualche maniera. La vita, la storia, le cose vanno avanti e appunto il cinema segue, lo segue proprio per sua natura perché racconta la sua storia. Io in generale seguo le mie idee di più dello studio analitico di una situazione. Ecco, quello mi interessa meno. Lina Wertmüller's family history crosses European borders. The Germanic surname originates from a wealthy lineage from Switzerland. Here, here in Italy, one of the, the very divisive political issues is the migration crisis and the way that politicians have dealt with it. How would you explore that through film? Tutti questi temi sono, fanno parte della, della nostra storia, quindi della mia storia e quindi l'avrei gestita di volta in volta come mi sembrava opportuno. Io quando si innamoro di una storia la seguo e lei che mi guida, ma non le so dire, non c'è niente di pre, pre, prefabbricato, diciamo, in questo senso, no. And while she's considered a feminist icon for breaking barriers, some of the scenes in her films might not be so palatable to a younger feminist audience. How would you encourage a woman, or how would you advise a woman to work within what is still a very male-dominated f- film industry? No, but it depends, because when you have, for example, a grande attrice, ha un potere particolare che molte volte è maggiore di quello degli uomini non c'entra il sesso c'entra il proprio potere nel lavoro ecco With only four women to have been nominated for the best director Oscar since Lena Wertmüller's work is still so recognizable it will stand out for many generations to come